Welcome back to A to Z here on Locked On Sports Atlanta from sunny Florida as I continue my vacation uh, with the family. But again, I love being with you guys here on A A to Z. So excited it's back. We're getting a lot of traction here very quickly right out of the gates and I'm excited about that. So uh, make sure you guys give us a follow on social, Locked On ATL. Of course, give me a follow as well at Mark Zinno, M-A-R-K-Z-I-N-N-O. Tell me what you love about the show. Tell me what you like, uh, what you want to hear more of. I certainly want to interact with you guys about all the segments that we do every single day here on A to Z. So, again, take the time to reach out. Uh, you guys know that uh, I love interacting on Twitter with people, and sometimes I can be a little bit of a uh, – what's the word we're looking for here? Oh, yeah, they call that jerk. No, I'm just kidding. But nonetheless, uh, I hope you guys will reach out to me on social, and, and, and we'll have some fun here going together uh, through all the Atlanta sports scene. But it is great to be back. Very excited to be with you again. Locked On Sports Atlanta, free on YouTube. Anywhere you get your podcast, just search Locked On Sports Atlanta. This segment of the show brought to you by our good friends over at Built Bar. You know, it's that time of year where everybody has sort of maybe let their New Year's resolutions go. Well, you don't have to do that with Built Bar because if you want that candy bar, instead dump it, put it down, grab a Built Bar. And by the way, have you tried their puffs yet? These are protein-infused marshmallow. It's unreal. They're fluffy. They're marshmallowy. Not just a protein bar at Built. They are a treat. All of them are covered in 100% real chocolate. Puffs are a fan favorite of a lot of people. They come with some great flavors. A yummy cinnamon churro, coconut marshmallow, banana cream pie. They're going to be your favorite. Built bars are all natural and again, covered in 100% real chocolate. Low calorie, high protein. Uh, they're better than a typical candy bar. Anywhere from two to 300 calories. Go to Built.com and check out the macro chart. If you're somebody who counts macros, this is amazing. This is one of the incredible parts about Built Bar. High protein, low calorie, under 30 calories, as I said, four grams of sugar, four net carbs, 17 grams of protein, just an unreal combination for anybody who wants that, who has that sweet tooth, but still wants to stay really healthy. Check out some of the other flavors, mint brownie, coconut, coconut almond. I knew for this month, white chocolate cookies and cream. They are delicious and new flavors are coming. And use the promo code louder again, built.com, promo code 15 for 15% 15 off at built.com. All right. Uh, I was thumbing through some notes here on the Atlanta Braves. They get set to kick off their season coming up on Thursday. Uh, and uh, I was going through the AJC, and they talked about five keys to repeat as World Series champs. Uh, and this is from Justin Toscano of the AJC. And I, I don't know Justin, full disclosure, you know, and again, I, I not critiquing his writing, just one of the points that he put together uh, for the five keys. And, and there are some I agree with the complete effort again, you know, you, you got it, you know, you old now, what is it, 28 guys on the roster? Uh, I think that's, you know, fair to say. Say healthy, clearly don't want to go through the injury situation they went through last year. So Alex Antopoulos magic, uh, that always helps. Uh, and the last two are the ones that I really want to contend with because he says the back end of the rotation must hold up. Uh, and then he says, time for the bullpen to shine. Now, I would argue that it's not that he's wrong on either one of those things, but I would argue that you got the second, so you didn't need the first, right? Like you loaded up on a bullpen, so you didn't have to worry about your starting rotation. You went Kensley Jansen, Will Smith, Tyler Matzik, A.J. Minter, Colin McHugh, and the list goes on and on and on of all the arms that they have, including our good buddy Luke Jackson. Um, you put that bullpen together because you wanted to make starting pitching easier. You wanted to make their lives easier. And not even so much the back end of the rotation, but just the entire rotation. So I did some research, and I was looking around at some of the other teams. The three best pitching staffs in the National League last year were Milwaukee, San Francisco, and the Giants. Let's take a look at Milwaukee real quick. Uh, and their bullpen was one of the best in baseball. If you take a look at their top three starters, Brendan Woodruff made 30 starts, 20 of them quality starts. And again, remember a quality start, six innings, three runs or less, right? Brendan Woodruff went nine and 10 last year. Corbin Burns made 28 starts, had 18 quality starts. He went 11 and five. Freddie Peralta made 27 starts, 14 quality starts, and he went 10 and five. In fact, no starter on the Brewers, I think, had more than 12 wins. And, and again, wins aren't always the – I'm not saying wins are the metric as to whether your staff is good or bad, but I do know that it's still hard to win 20 in the show. 
And so the pitchers that do it are doing something right over the course of 30 starts in a season if you win 20 of them, 30, 35 starts. So you, you look at the key numbers. Quality starts are more important. And, and a bullpen that, you know, held games for you. I mean, how did the Brewers win 95 games last year and only have starters that won 10 or 12 because their bullpen bridged gaps to games where they could just get a, a lead and win? Look at the San Francisco Giants. They won 107 games last year. Kevin Gosman made 33 starts, had 20 quality starts, and went 14 and 6. Alex Wood, former Brave, 26 starts, just nine quality starts, went 10 and 4. Johnny Cueto, 21 starts, just four quality starts, went 7 and 7. And I'm, I'm illustrating all this again to prove that the bullpen and the bullpen that you build to be so good, you don't need high level starting pitching. You just need above average starting but it has to be good like it just has to be able to go six innings and give up three runs or less because your lineup is good enough and you're a complete enough team that's a complete effort that he talked about you're good on both sides offense defense you know pitching hitting like you have it all uh and so these numbers illustrate to me that you don't have to worry as much about high level quality starting pitching when you have a bullpen that is as deep and as good as this one, even the Dodgers, Clayton Kershaw, 22 starts, 11 quality starts. He goes 10 and eight, Trevor Bauer. And again, he obviously, you know, had the issue last year, but he only made 17 starts, 14 quality, went eight and five. Now, again, a lot of these starters, their ERAs were in the, in the mid threes to low threes to high twos, you know, phenomenal ERAs. But again, the idea is to shorten this game for the Braves to six innings every single night. That's why the bullpen is so deep. So I can go through a, you know, a rotation of guys and not wear them out where it's just one guy uh, doing all the work. Like that's what you're trying to avoid. You want to be able to have a bullpen that has enough depth that if a starter can only get to six and give up three runs, you know what? Go to the bullpen. That's our strength. That's where, that's where we make our money. That's how we end up becoming uh, a, a, a NL East champion again. You know, and I, and I was mentioning yesterday about the Braves and kind of, you know, the, the I needed to step up and you look at the rest of this team. They're going where if you just hold the other team at bay for in, in four through six or seven innings, guess what? This lineup will do enough damage through nine. Like just keep it close. You know, if you, the Braves' best position. Probably is is you know or, or the most fun position every night is going to be. I shouldn't say the best, but the most fun position every night is for them to be down by a run or two heading into the sixth, seventh, and eighth innings. Because you know somebody's going to hit a home run. It's just that's 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 how they're built. You know somebody's going to get a big hit. Their offense is geared too much to score runs for them not to be set up that way. So it is super important. I think that this team is a complete team, as Justin Toscano said, but. Alex Anthopoulos put this bullpen together so he didn't have to worry about starting pitchers. So Waskar Anoa and Kyle Wright and whoever else is going to be out there on the mound doesn't have to be spectacular. doesn't have to go, you know, seven and two thirds, giving up just one run with nine strikeouts. That doesn't have to be the case every night for the Braves. They can just be good. They can just be six innings, you know, five hits, three runs, get the heck out of Dodge and turn it over to a bullpen that's going to shut everybody down. All right, coming up next, final segment of A to Z here on this Tuesday as we recap the national championship. And something went on in Atlanta last night that's very personal to me that was a huge swing and miss that we'll talk about once again. That's next right here on A to Z on Locked On Sports Atlanta. Free on YouTube. Just make sure you search Locked On Sports Atlanta wherever you get your podcast. We'll be right back. 